Oh, pugs are so cool and so stinking cute. They're considered toy dogs. They have wrinkly, short muzzled faces, a snorty nose, and curled tails. That's how you'll recognize them. They're also lovable and super popular. And soon you can see pugs on parade because Pug Fest is next weekend, and it is the biggest pug festival, get this, in the entire world. Mm -hmm. And Joe and Diane Ponzo are with the Milwaukee Pug yeah. Fest, and they brought their family yes, of pugs. Brought the family. This Who is your whole pack. Here? Hi, sweetheart. Oscar, Skeeter. Oscar. Otis and Star. And Oscar, we've met Otis Skeeter. a couple years ago. Yes, Otis? Okay. Yes. And Otis now is in a wheelchair. Yes. Yeah. Why is Otis in a wheelchair? He's the one sitting in between them right there. Can you see his little wheelchair? Well, <laughs> yeah. Otis, Otis was a victim of abuse, and he, his injuries were never taken care of properly, so he has declined in his health, and his back legs don't work very well so we put him in a wheelchair and he loves to run around yes and just what do you guys think makes them so lovable they have a wonderful demeanor they're fun to be with they like to have fun and kiss and play and love all the time what about their faces <laughs> they got got the face best everybody face. can love What's yeah. his name here who smiles? Oscar Madison. Oscar can Madison you smile? smiles. Oscar Madison? Can you smile, honey? Can you smile? Where are those teeth? Can you smile? No, he's yeah. not going to smile. He's not going to smile There's today. probably a lot of people who love and he's adore and, and, and have their own pack of pugs. Why do you think pugs are so popular here in, Mil in Milwaukee? Oh. Well, you just can't have one pug. Pugs just love to play. They love to play with each other, and they're just so lovable that you don't always have to have more than one. Yeah. What is Pug Fest in Milwaukee? What is PugFest? It's the largest pug fundraiser in the United States and in the world. We raise money for all the pug rescue groups in need, all dogs in foster, all pugs in foster throughout the whole United States. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen at PugFest? Should people go even if they don't have a pug? Yes, yes, definitely. Come, there's a lot to do at PugFest. Like we, have, we have vendors that, um, for all kinds of things for sale. We have pug races. It's fun to watch the pugs race. Oh. Um, we have blessing of the pugs. We have costume contests where everybody dresses their pugs Now that's what I would up. go to see is a costume contest. <laughs> yes. Seeing all of them in their royalty, their, their, right. their king oh, robes, I was like into that. They get some pretty wild costumes. And, uh, yeah. and we usually, there's about 1,600 pugs running around. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> that is yeah. so yeah. funny. Is that a lion? I'm thinking that's a lion. <laughs> And there also is going to be a, co a contest for people, for pugs and strollers and wagons, like for Otis, who can't walk very well. Mm -hmm. I love that. I mean, they're just so adorable. And this, the, the snorting, you get used to that? Well, if you keep middle weight, a good weight, they don't snort too much. But the heavier a pug, the more they're going to snort. Yeah, and the more smooshed in the face. Yeah. Sometimes that's absolutely true. Yeah. Sometimes that you too. You get used to it. You okay, get used I, to it. Uh, uh, Diane, I got to talk to you about your earrings. <laughs> oh. Okay, those are so cute. They look to me almost like little shrinky dinks. They're little shrinky dinks. They are yeah. shrinky dinks? Little, yep, little I don't know where our camera is if we can I, see I, this. I, Purchased them many years oh, ago. There, turn your head, oh, that turn way your head a little bit. bit. Okay, check that go. out. <laughs> Can you see that? that oh, they're fresh? little pugs. Uh -huh. Is that so that. cute? Yep. There's going to be a lot of pug rescues, too. Where do right. they come from? California, Texas, Georgia, Florida, I mean, all over the United Tennessee, States, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Will there be adoptable pugs at PugFest or not? There will be dogs that are up for adoption where you can start the adoption process. Mm -hmm. So at least you can meet and greet. A, a potential adoptee. If people have pugs, should they bring them to this event? Definitely. Okay. They Definitely. should bring their pugs or other well-behaved dogs that they want to bring smushy their smushy face, face breeds. breeds. Can they can bring them? Absolutely. <laughs> smushy I love that face you say, yeah, breeds. Smushy face breeds. Yeah. <laughs> Can't have no dog with a nose. Yeah. So. <laughs> no dogs with a nose. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of the funds that are raised, you said this is one of the largest fundraisers and the largest pug fest in the country. What what does yeah. the money go towards? What is specifically will this be used for? Basically to help pugs that are in foster care right now to help pay for uh, the upkeep and their food, the medical bills. Um, also, we get a lot of dogs in that are abused too, and uh, it gets expensive when we need to help rescue groups pay their medical bills. You guys are married, right? Or are you brother yes. and sister? No, we're, no, we're, we're married. married. You're married, okay. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you know that you, you both liked pugs before you met? Or was that something that developed after you got together? Well, we've no. known each other since we were teenagers, so we've always liked dogs, but our first dog that we got after we got married was a pug. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. That's was, so cute. But it wasn't Otis. Otis wasn't no. your first. No, oh okay. no. No, no, no. 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 Okay. <laughs> we've been married 23 years. So. Yeah. Oh. Actually, May's 
coming up, or it's at the end of the month, we'll be married 23 years. Oh, oh congratulations. Yeah, he's getting a little ahead of you there on that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want her to think I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you so going to get good. her another pub for your anniversary? Uh, no, 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 please. <laughs> the pack is full. Otis just looked at me like I was crazy. Yeah. Another yeah. one? We're just choking, <laughs> Otis. Actually, kidding. this is only half the pack. Yeah, so. yeah. No, no way. How many do you have? We have a few more at home yet. Oh but they're my gosh. very senior citizens and unable yeah. to be with us today right. to come out. Oh, and they all get along. You take care yes, of they them. do. Yeah, it's Otis. like a hospice for pugs at our yeah. house. I love that. I love Otis too. <laughs> He's so chill yeah. there. And he what's is. the one on your lap again? Star. I love Star. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, Star! You are a star. Look at your little tongue sticking oh. out there. Oh, so she sweet. She has her own sad story, but yet she's still wonderful and loves people and everything. So cute. When I think that's such a, a great theme is that, you know, if you adopt a pug, if you adopt a pet, bring them into your home, love them, bring them into safety. And here's where you can learn more about Pug Fest. You can go on out. It's Sunday, May 19th. It's from 10 to 4 at the Milwaukee County Sports Complex, which is right on Ryan Road in Franklin. For more information, you can visit Milwaukee Pug Fest dot com. And again, bring all your smushy faced friends out. That's what we think. Yes, Absolutely. Definitely. Well, well, thanks, thanks to have you guys on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Much Thank you so much. Good so to much. see you again.